Finally, after one week of trying to get this championship mode up and running, we are here. This is Auto Rock and Racing 94, back with the latest episode of NASCAR E2, Morgan Shepard Championship Mode. It is playoff time, as I'm trying to get Morgan Shepard at now age 76, his Xfinity Series Championship that has been long eluded him in his career. Now, I was originally going to do a video on his birthday last week, but every time when I click on it, I, the game crashes. Thankfully, the patch came out today, so I don't have to worry about it ever again. So there you have it. It works this time. So before we talk about players, here is the setup. 100 difficulty, 30%. Because of the patch, it is different now. We're gonna, not going to do relax. Yet. We're going to do strict yellow. So any spin, any contact, or whatever, it should work. We are. I decided I'm going to stick with qualifying from here on out. And see how it goes. And then it came, and then it dawned on me this entire time. I what I was only planning to do only on the restrictor plate tries is stability help. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn stability help off on some of the tracks, like Loudon. I can use with some tracks. I need it. Some tracks I don't. I'm not sure how much I'm going to change it, but I need to be more consistent. So here's all the setups. It's at a hundred. Since we are now in the playoffs. I would change the custom, I would change the level of difficulty, but since I've done it 130 percent the whole time, I'm gonna keep it that way. And I'm still thinking of Homestead. I'm probably gonna have a longer race at Homestead. I'm not entirely sure, but without further ado, here are the standings going in to Kentucky. I have a comfortable lead right now because of the 12 wins and 77 playoff points to Eric Jones and William Byron's 28 playoff points and three wins. Here, here are the other guys that are in. Brendan Gong is the last one to, on on the standings right now. So the bottom four going in are Clements, Ty Dillon, Brendan Poole, and Brendan Gong. Kevin Harvick did not make the playoffs. Here's how it actually looks if today you have it. So hopefully by this patch, and I purposely wanted to wait till the patch comes out and see how much of a difference does it make. And hopefully Harrison Rhodes is no longer a problem. We shall find out. So here are the round of 12 races that I'm going to do in this video. Kentucky, Dover, Charlotte. That's where we had a... I don't know why I thought Lana was on the calendar there twice. I'm thinking trucks. Dover was a disaster. Charlotte, I came up short. Kentucky, I wasn't that good. I, was, I struggled to get momentum on the final stage. But here's what we have from the previous episode. I only did two on the previous episode because there was only two left in the regular season, and I finished first and second. In Chicago Lynn, and it was in a great battle between me and Jeremy Clements, in which Clements made the playoffs by that win. I purposely let him, but hey, it is what it is. But basically, we won six in a row. The last time we finished worse than second was in Iowa in 10. So, here you have it. Let's go on to Kentucky. There's Eric Jones in the number 20, which will be his number in the in the Cup Series next season. Matt Kenseth, on the other hand, still a free agent. Greg Galding got a top 10 before Cole Witt. Don't believe me, look up the results if you did not watch Talladega, the whole race at Talladega. Watch the last 20 laps. That's where it gets berserk, and that's where you saw, because you'll see... In a span of 15 or so laps, you're going to see three big wrecks... And three red flags. Yeah, there were three red flags, so that means I have to whip up another every red flag, every red flag of a particular cup season, which probably will be 2005. Here we are at Kentucky. Let's try to qualify. Let's see if we can Right. We're live here at the Kentucky Speedway, and I'm doing qualifying. I'm not sure it's going to be useful or a waste of time. I just decided to keep qualifying to see how well I do because I originally started and last every single race. But as the season progressed and I keep on winning, I decided, you know what, if, as he keeps winning, his car gets progressively better. So I decided I'm just going to stick with qualifying and that's what's going to be the case during the playoffs. Here we go, let's see what we can do here at Kentucky.
Oh, I'm gonna start dead last. What's the point of running? It's just like with Jeff Gordon, one of his qualifying runs in Kansas. Yeah, that little bug is still there. Well, there's no point where I'm gonna have to start in dead last, so I just shot myself into a big hole in the playoffs already. Alright, here we go, green flag. And nope, does not look like they upped and they patched the AI quite grip quite well because I still see Ty Majeski in the back. See the usual suspects in the back of the field. For me, it's trying to make, I think I can make it by points, but I still want to do well and get stage points so I can help myself pad up that lead going in the homestead. As if I make a new homestead, because there's only two more episodes after this. Here you go. Nope, does not look like the passion because I still see the same suspects that shouldn't that have no business to be in, ahead of these guys like Joel Odano. What a shame. Maybe because I'm already well into this championship mode that it just uh, just does not want to adapt. Uh oh, do not want to wreck anybody because single car spin should bring out a caution always. Joy Gaze, fairly reasonable. I don't mind Joy Gaze. Yep, give it to this game, give it to this patch that Harrison Rose is still undeservingly OP in this game. But hey, look, Matt Tiff is in the top 20, so hopefully that's part of the patch where he is actually good, not garbage. And here's the first of the round of 12 guys. I choked the corner. Barry Harvard, much worse than. The Oakland Raiders this season, as far as being Super Bowl favorites, to nobody's again. We're coming to the white flag. Can I at least beat one of my round of 12 competitors? I'm going to stick it at the bottom. But I need to be in an odd number position. Oh, look, Tyler Reddick's up there, too. I think it fixed some, but not all. I still feel like... Pass me, pass me, Eric. Pass me, Eric. I don't mind finishing seven. I don't mind being on the on the inside here. I'll take 17 for now. God damn it! I still can't beat the game, the the computer. Well, we're back to same old, same old garbage. Ooh, it fades out. Maybe I never noticed that. No, it's just I don't know. Remember, win and you're in. As simple as that, win and you're in, win and you're in dance. I gotta take care of Harrison Rose. We have no business to be up there. No business. I'm glad they fixed up Tyler, 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 Tyler Matt Tiffin, Daniel Hemrick, AI. Now they're finally up there where they belong. They have, they have the same, unfortunately, they're gonna do the same courtesy for. Time to Jesky, but whatever. Can't fix all of them. Here's the, here's, here's the bane of my existence in this championship mode that should be Ross Yastain, not this bum Harrison Road. Let's see, let me test out the, top of the patch. And he saved it. Wow. William Byron's not passing in Byron. Well, there's a caution, and I get ninth, and I beat William Byron, so, alright, fine, fine. Yeah, that must be a part of, that must be new, because it didn't fade out the audio when you probably, when you don't want to fit. Alright, there's a little odd touch, oh boy, here we go, for 17 laps to go. This is at 13%, it feels like 25. Yellow apron. Oh boy. Even on the, even on the, even that I still suck at restarts. I go to that restart big time. Can I 
stick it? Can I stick it? Can I stick it? I stick it. Good. Elliot Sadler and a little to add a little known fact. He is still yet to win this season. He's still yet to win this season. I get in the back of Blake Cook. Now I'm gonna have to battle Daniel Suarez and the two junior motorsports cars. See, the problem is I cannot miss track. I've been awful just like last time. Not, I've not gotten any better here. Compared to Iowa, I did end up be improving quite a lot. Daniel Suarez again, step closer to winning. Well, the same thing for Chase Elliott, but they both wrecked. Got a block moving in Byron here. As Suarez is not too much of my concern. To be, to be honest with you, he's not my concern. Well, nobody really is my concern, even if I finish inside the top five. I have to. I'll have a pretty comfortable point sleep. Yep, I'm so not winning this one. I love when I don't qualify or I struggle in the track that I'm bad on the first time around. I feel like I'm not improving at all at this track. Doesn't matter if really I put a damage, no damage, doesn't matter. I'm still running horrible. I have to put it well up in the apron to get any advantage or momentum or any kind of run going. There's Eric Almarola who, and there's the caution. Eric Almarola got his first top five since his injury at Kansas. Great. Well, you expect Almarola to be up there with his success in the Xfinity Series. Even though his wins have been, for the most part, controversial. Man, I, what the hell was that restart? That was as bad as Jeff Gordon's restart. Now I'm not going to win this race. Little old uh, Blake Kirk's back to remind me. Can I get going? Can I get going? Can I get going? I'm just giving up track decision like I'm Jeff Gordon in 2014. Thank goodness there's no such thing as flat tires. And I get in the back of Blake Cook. And there's another caution. Well, there you have it. I work the patch works. So now can I run clean and stop being desperate and trying to win this race? So great. Harrison Rhodes is in the top ten. That's great. That's awesome. That's realistic. Much better restart than 7 0. A hell of a restart, but can I clear Elliot Sadler? No, see, every time I get in the middle or exit of a corner, they just choke. I just cannot get going. It just does not want to go in the bottom properly. Now Elliot Sadler is going to all but won this race. Now I have to hold up these guys. So I say all because I'm not too worried about Elliot, but he's been fast all season long. He just cannot get the job done as far as winning. Six laps to go. Can I get a rhythm? Can I get rhythm going? Just cannot exit properly because they're just right up my ass. Oh, no, way too high. Here comes everybody going by. Horrible, horrible sequence right there. Now I have Wood and Byron again in the back of my bumper. Cannot stick it. And that's the problem when I did not qualify good and I was too desperate. Again, way too high. Now I have to deal with Byron's ass again. This has not been a good race at all. This track has been shit and garbage. For fuck's sakes. This is not going too well. Well, thank goodness it did not hit anybody and I think that might have helped. 
but I had a 40 point advantage over everybody and I'm probably gonna be down to 20 because of this. That's, that's not good. See how much slow I have to go and every time when the tone of the pitch goes down, it gets worse and they're gonna get blown by me. It's just absolutely ridiculous right now. I have to pause it. Of course, when I try to turn my mic on, I lose all forms of momentum to the go. Now I have to give up this spot. Oh, oh, oh God. Great, Byron went by me. Great, that's awesome. That's what I needed. This is not a good race at all. I want to get the hell out of here. Go to Dover. Another shit show and a half. See how much slower I have to go. Probably gonna go from a 40 point lead to down to a 5 point lead at this rate, Byron ahead of me. This has just been pathetic. Let's get the fuck out of here and go to the next round. Come on, Almarola. You're actually my best friend right now if you can get by him. It's gonna be my worst finish since fucking Iowa. Yeah, good points, but yeah, sure, good points. Yeah, get out of here. That's not a good points day. And I get a 98 rating out of this. This has just been ridiculous. This is a horrible first round. Horrible, horrible, horrible. And I lost the points lead, of course. Because I didn't win that one. Ellie Sadler's first win. He got all the playoff points. And now, now I'm in desperate measures that cause desperate cause. And of course, the number funds are stretched out for whatever the fuck reason it is. I didn't even get the fastest lap. Here's your top 10. At least the bum. Here's the, of course, he gets a top 15. Of course, just go figure. Go figure. At least Brandon Brown finished 30th. Ty Majeski, no business to be the last car winner. Fuck. Let's go to Dover. Hopefully, I can drive sober. Oh, nice. I get a trophy. Oh, yeah, a trophy. Nice. Doesn't mean shit. This is Dover, where I struggled horribly. Because I got rammed up everywhere, left and right. William Byron took me out on this race. I have not forgotten about that one. I don't think I'm going to win any, any of these races the way it looks like. There's no way I'm gonna be able to win here in any of these races in this epi in this episode. The only episode that I failed to win a race, not counting the Michigan one, which was only one race, was the very first episode. Let's see if I can qualify better, not get the damn wall. Because here's the big was We're coming into turn number one, right here. Cannot hit the apron at all. Cannot hit it. Otherwise, you're done. You're done. Yeah, 12 wins doesn't mean jack shit when you're not quick enough on those cookie cutter tracks. I never won a pole here in this in this series. Never won a pole. Go way too high. Hit the wall. I'm gonna start dead last. Of course, of course. And I'm starting in the fucking back because just one kiss in the wall puts me there. One fucking kiss in the wall is it, it put, ends it all. Not to worry about 
There's a Rose's bum ass being well ahead of me again. Could not hit anybody because if I hit anybody, the race this stage would be over right away. And I get no stage points. And all of a sudden I went from a 40 point lead to about 15, and I'm not even the number one seed anymore. Going into the next round because I've not won after one, one race. Yeah, Morgan Shepard is feisty. He's angry. He is extremely livid right now. I have the speed needed to get by the fuel. Don't hit anybody in the wall. Good, Hamrick right up there again. Excellent. Too bad that I started this when Hamrick was one of the worst cars in the field, along with Matt Tiff. Entry in the one, set up a bunch of webos. Clear. 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 I'm not going to let William Byron beat me again. Oh, hell no. Fuck that shit. Where's his... Not only he gets an OP qualifying start, he's gonna beat me and fuck it inside the top five. Oh, thanks, Waters. I appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, sure, I appreciate that. This is unre no fucking business. This is as this is this is as unrealistic as Shane Hall winning at Martinsville NASCAR Thunder 2003. This is as more this is as ludicrous than Shane Hall winning an Asphalt Thunder 2003. No, no. I'll take the lead in a moment, but I gotta take care of this. He has no fucking business to be up there to begin with. No business. I'm not gonna let him be ahead of me in one more lap. Sorry, I gotta make it realistic. You talk smack about my mom? Did you talk smack about Morgan Shepard's mom? Are you getting wrecked? Little kayfabe storyline there. Cheat to win. Be dirty. Morgan Shepard is still living about that encumbered win at Darlington. And the round goes all down here. Sadler's gonna gain more points and add me. I'm gonna be in the fourth fucking position. Great, just fucking great. Just fucking great. It's all my fault for that wreck. And Ryan Reed gets more playoff points because of this. Right away, I'll call this ep rename this episode to Rage Mode because this has been anything but joyful. Really, Elliot Sadler? Really? Really? You're gonna shove me up the fucking racetrack like this left is a like I'm a sack of potatoes and William Byron's ahead of me again? This is from the spring race, William, not forgotten, even though I packed you in mid Ohio by accident. Look at all these spots. I'm Gordon. This is like Jeff Gordon in 2007. Can't get the job done. Great, now everybody's passing me. Yeah, sure, look, free, 
free giveaway. I got get free giveaways. I'm giving you an engine. I'm giving you a chassis. I'm giving you my car keys. I'm giving you everything just to choke this championship away. Next round. They're two shithole qualifying runs. This game cannot still have me still have that restart garbage where I cannot restart and my life depended on it. The way I'm running, I'm so not winning this championship at Homestead. I'm gonna tell you that right now. We are not ready for Homestead. Now I'm gonna let you calm, treat it like this freaking Loudon, and work my way one by one. Today, Sadler. If I recall right now, his last his his last Nat Xfinity Series win in real life was at Dover. So I'll have to prove myself to win here. Now more than ever. But I think I'm gonna run out of laps. But there's still five more to go, so hopefully I can catch up to Jones, pass him clean. And then we could get the hell out of here, Dover, knowing I'm going to be in the next round. And, and I have a pretty comfortable, much comfortable lead that I was going into this race. Of course, this game just says, well, not let me because now I'm just progressively losing ground over time. Trying to keep the car when I'm not hitting the wall going way too tight to the to the top line instead of sticking it in the middle towards the bottom and to the nearby the apron when I'm clipping it. So I have to slow down so much, but I'm much closer this time around. Here we go. I may have to run here. I may have to do a little bump and run. Did not work. But I gave him a little tap and remind him, I'm here. I'm not giving up this race. Oh, way too much. Way too much. Great. Choked it. Awesome. That's fucking awesome that I choked this race away. Not fucking willing to... Oh, caution. Thank you. Oh, great. I'm out of the worst spots, worst scenario ever. High line overtime. Great. Great. This is awesome. See, like right here, like I get the superb restart because I'm in this line. I'm not gonna clear him enough, and everybody's gonna rake me by up the ass. And there he goes. See what I mean? This is awesome. This is, this is just fucking great. This is just fucking great. The worst scenario possible. And Ty Dillon's ahead of me. Great. This is just fucking awesome. This is just beautiful. Beautiful, magnifico. The one driver did not want to have win. He's going to win this goddamn race. We are so not winning this championship in Homestead. We are so not ready to win that championship. We are horrible, horrible. This is a horrible series to see tracks in succession. Now we're going to go to fucking Charlotte and desperate measures just to win a damn race in this episode. At least I got a 102 rating, thank you.
Oh, yeah, the worst. Harrison Rhodes gets a top 10. Worst. This is shit. This is shit. Oh, sure. Yeah, I got a pretty good advantage. Doesn't mean jack shit in this play in the playoffs. At least I got fastest lap. Here's your stupid ass running order. Here's the Rhodes under Sterling gets a top 10. So this race is an automatic fail. Joey Logano 21st. Brandon Brown again a 30th. Ryan C must I don't know what happened to him. Yet Ben Kennedy is still garbage in this patch. I want this episode to be fucking over. Oh sure, and then Kansas is after that. Oh sure. Yeah, like I'm actually like I'm gonna have a real shot at Kansas. And then we're coming to Charlotte where it's bottom line or nothing. Bottom line or nothing. If you if you wobble, you're done. Then again, I say that about every single track at every single episode all of a sudden. Oh boy, this is so making me not want to do a bonus race. And I want to do a bonus race showing one of the NASCAR next drivers as included in this patch. There's Charlotte in the daytime with the black walls. They have not updated that. Yeah, well, then again, and even in the real life race, they've never changed the paint. They're still in yellow. Like, hello, sprint is gone. We should re update that paint wall. Maybe it'll look like that next year. I don't know. So I probably fail again in qualifying. 17 red flags this season. 17 total. We would have lost past 2002 and 2004. As far as the TNN video, I'm going to start putting it in the cut. Most likely, I'll have it out before Halloween, which is coming up really, t really, really soon. I will have that up in Halloween, and then hopefully before Thanksgiving or, at, or on Thanksgiving, they will give you the Fox one. And then after that, I'm thinking probably, I think the routine I'm going to end up doing is old, new, old, I mean old, current, old, like old, current format as best as possible. That was the playoffs. No more. One bad race is over. And that wobble is going to probably dock me down to the 20s. Why do I even bother qualify? Why? Just why? Just why? And Brandon Brown beat me for fuck's sakes. At least it's the night race of Charlotte. That's what happened in real life. But that was because of Mother Nature. Brandon Brown 2 has no business to beat me. Or even qualify this good. He, he doesn't even drive the Xfinity Series all that much. We only got four laps to do this. I am nowhere near safe of making the playoffs yet. Nowhere near safe. Nowhere near safe. Is another top of better qualifying running undeserved, and I just ruined Daniel freaking Hemrick's day. Are these ones gonna be that way too? It's no time to be easy. This is the playoffs. Last race of the op last race of the opening round. I don't want to pass any more cars because if I do, I'm going to be on the outside rather on the inside.
gonna have to do that anyways just to get more stage points to be to pat to be more secure going in. And of course Harrison Rhodes sick give it to this game that Harrison Rhodes gets a stage point. He's probably gonna be 13th when this episode is over in standings. And Eric Jones, what? Go fucking figure, it's Eric Jones. Hey, you ready? Hey, you ready? Yeah, I'm gonna get a good restart. I'm not even gonna clear. I don't think I can clear with Blake Cook all the way. Okay, good, I did. Brendan Poole. In second, he's a playoff contender. I'm not sure where he stands because I've been too angry to look, show you where everybody's at, who's ahead, who's behind, because this episode's been garbage. We have 16 laps after this, most likely. For the first time in this entire episode, I'm going to probably take the leap at last. It's absolutely a farce that this is that I've taken this long to get there. Now we're in front. Now can we keep it and not choke it away? I'm trying to get this series done so and this week so I can. So this one's be done, and then because usually my tendency is when somebody when I do something unique, and then somebody else does it, whether it's a, the same championship mode or not, I try to end it as quick as possible because there's no way I can compete for the higher levels. Not that I really care for, but that's just how I am. That's why I don't do NASCAR race reviews. I did it for a while in 2015, but I stopped. What else did I really want to do? But I didn't. Classic race reactions, it was more at, it was already done before I did some. But I've not been able to get everybody together because I've been too busy with other things. It's just not pat out too well, but. Alright, now, I guess all this anger and rage is just gone because now I'm ahead. We're finally going to get a playoff point and, this, and gain a lot of lost ground that I had from this round. Look at the standings right now. All playoff drivers. It's going to be very tight. I've heard of what has been a horrible set of races. Morgan Shepard's going to finally cross the line and take stage two. And of course, I'm going to have to battle Ryan Reed to keep it. No contest. Finally. Of course. What else is new? What else is new with, with this top 10? They fixed Tiff's rating. They fixed Hamrick's rating. But they could not do the same courtesy for Harrison Rose to make it work. He actually belongs mid-pack only. Looks like they made him worse. And by worse, I mean unrealistically better. Can I get a good restart? Okay, good. Oh, finally, I can go in on the in, in car camera for once. And then when you look at that, there is the mile an hour and there's the gear number that I'm at. There's a little new feature on the patch you see on the bottom right screen. Oh, man, this armor is killing me because I'm not looking at my rear view mirror. Ryan Reed just slide drafting or go short. Yeah, thanks a lot, Justin Allgaier. Thanks a lot, Justin Allgaier. Yeah, sure, take me out. Yeah, take me out. That would be great. Take me out so we can end this series. Gonna be this way. I'm just gonna let you go by. The search stage has been horrible this whole episode. Who 
Really, Brendan? Really, Brendan? Really, Brendan? Are you gonna be this way too? Really? Now fucking Byron is right there. Just what I fucking needed. Absolute embarrassment. And now Byron is gonna put me still up high in his whole entire way to keep losing spots. Left and right, because they're keep showing me on the, on the on this high line. You know what, Byron? You can go. Because if this way, we're not winning this championship. And you're not going to win either if you keep acting this way. God darn it, this episode's been embarrassing. Yeah, yo, you deserve that all now You're the culprit of this. That Ryan Reed is gonna get a, a win, and I'm gonna drop the fourth in the fucking stand. He's going into round two. Starting to become Kyle Bush championship more, more like more than more than more than Shepard. Of course, great. Yeah, yeah, awesome. That's what I needed a caution. That's what I fucking needed a caution. Your scenario is just like fucking Dover. So this time I may finally clear him thanks to William Ryan Reed having a horrible restart. No, here we go again. No, 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 no. All right, thank you. Thank you. Finally, a good restart in this episode. Goodbye, assholes. I'm I'm back on top. I was too nice in Chicago land, but this time, no, no more, Mr. Nice Guy. You either respect me, AI, or you get punked. Give me liberty. Give me death. See, this is what I mean, and shut up with your fucking war walls! Because I rolled up the track, now I have to deal with it, sorry ass, with two laps to go! And of course, really a fire red, old piece is waiting in the front, because I'm trying too damn hard to win this race! Damn it! Son of a fucking mother! You fuckhead! What a fuckhead episode I want this was! Now I'm stuck here battling for fucking third place! You deserve that, and I guess. They didn't bother to fix this glitch, because you still get a caution one to go. Now I guess I get one more shot at this, but I'm still in second. Well, there you have it, people. Despite the patch, there's not one lap. The caution still comes. There's, there's still, if the caution comes up with one lap to go, 
you still get over time. And I hang on. I'm going to have to scuffle with the JR Motorsports crew after this race. I'm not even going to say it. It's a white flag is out. Win number 13. Trying to keep this championship hopes alive. You know I'm well in, but I need this win badly. I think I got it. Nope. Still not over. Now look at Sadler going way too OP. Can I hang on? Don't clip. Don't clip. Don't clip. Don't clip. Don't clip. Oh boy, this is going to get ugly. I'm going to be side draft. Elliot Sadler. There we go. It's the big one. Can I hang on? Can I do it? What a shit show. What an absolute shit show. I don't even think I deserve that win at all. Look at this fucking mess. Yeah, we're watching this replay. Oh, okay, I'm trying to remember this replay. All right, here we go. Let's watch this mini cam. As you see right there, trying to block him, then I drove down into Elliot Sadler, and Elliot Sadler wrecked, clipped William Byron good enough where he loses control. I need to change this camera. There we go. And I, can't, I don't know how to hide this. I don't think you can. Look at it. Byron is out. Elliot Sadler... No, oh, I got this. Well, look at this. Elliot Sadler finishes second in the weirdest fashion. Well, good top five for Tyler Reddick. I just fucking hate that I have to do this situation where I'm too desperate to win. All right, here we go. Let's watch it from the from the white flag lap. Oh, here we go. The white flag is out. One lap to go here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Morgan Shepard is in front, but he's got a stack load of junior motorsports cars right behind him trying to steal a win and maybe knock him out of the top seed going into the round of eight. Shepard goes low. Shepard goes in the middle. Shepard goes high. Byron may have an opening, but Morgan Shepard is going to go down to the bottom. He does go to the bottom. He clips the apron just a little bit enough, but, but Shepard hangs on as they come to the final corner. The JR Motorsports is going to hang on. They both wreck. They wreck. Elliot Sadler is wet, Byron, Morgan Shepard closes the line, and he's going to win in dramatic fashion. Kevin Harvick is also involved, and plenty of others as Morgan Shepard win number 13. Oh, man. <clears throat> There's my impromptu commentary if I were to do one of those old school videos. So there you have it, because I'm not making that video. So there you go. Uh, here's a rose. You know, you know what? Whatever. Um, you know what? Whatever. Let's have, let's end this video on a fun note. Let's just end it on a fun note, can we? And so, Jeremy Clements, Brendan Poole, Ty Dillon, Brendan Gong, all eliminated. I don't have to worry about Ty Dillon. Thank goodness. Win number 13. Dirty as fuck. Angry as fuck. Trash as fuck. This is just how I just despise this episode. And then after the race, the J Dale Jr. punched Morgan Shepard. And then I got swarmed by a bunch of JR Motorsports people. And there's that. Yeah, Morgan Shepard got into a scuffle because of this nonsense. And the skates were stolen by Ty, by Ty Dillon and Justin Allgaier. Uh, can we just hope that this next episode I don't get too angry? I just want that to happen. I just want to be calm at Kansas and Texas and Phoenix. I just want to be calm. I just want to be... Because this episode was just a bust for left and right. I'm sure... I know rants can be enjoyable for people. And they love people when they rant. But I don't like doing that kind of crap. I just don't. Here's the standings. Eric Jones, Elliot Saller, William Byron, Justin Allgaier, Eric Daniel Suarez, Blake Cook, and Brian Reed are all in. Yeah. 55 point advantage. Still not safe in my book. This is what it's all about that championship four. Penultimate episode coming up, so. 
Huh. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I, I'm just gonna end. I'm just gonna end it here. You know, so let's just end it when the dry when the pot is hot. So there you have it. Morning Shepherd Championship mode. Probably the most angriest I've ever been on a YouTube video in a long time, probably ever. Hope you enjoyed it. Somehow, some way. But I'm just done here. Until we meet again, I'll see you on the penultimate episode. Where hopefully, as things is more relaxed as a dude, I'll actually show you the truck series of the, the that that comes with the patch. Because I want to show you the NOS truck when I'm in a good mood.